Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to complain about light bulbs. Now why the heck would I complain about light bulbs? I'm pissed off. You know why? Because this is an LED light bulb. It's one of those nice ones that doesn't have like the ceramic base. I bought these in I believe August of 2020 and this one didn't even last a little over a year. And I thought to myself, geez, I have incandescent bulbs that are in lamps that I've been using for a very long time, well over a year that are still working. There's really no reason this should not be working anymore. So it got me wondering, what the heck's going on inside of here? I want to cut this open and find out. So. I'm going to head to the garage, get out the Dremel, and uh, we'll slice right around here and see what we've got. Honestly, I thought it was going to be plastic because, you know, why would you need glass when plastic is, in theory, cheaper? But, you know, here we are. This is what we've got inside of this bulb, so I'm going to head back inside and see if we can figure anything out on this thing. So this bulb is a GE brand. It is the Relax LED HD light. As you know, light is better in high definition, right? This is what's inside. You know, again, I thought this was going to be plastic, but it's actually glass, so that's pretty interesting. Looks like we have four sets of uh, LEDs or something. And just to double check, I uh, put this in my lamp real quick, and uh, well, this is not 800 lumens or whatever. You know, something is clearly wrong with this thing. Um, it seems to be working right now, but you know, that's not how it was before. So that's funny. I was just uh, off camera poking it with this uh, Q-tip because you know I might get shocked, and uh, it suddenly got much brighter, you know? This is more like, oh, there you go. See? So maybe we're onto something here. Why is this thing not working? There it is again. So, that's pretty strange. Let's get dangerous. Poke it with metal stuff. Yep. There it is again. Oh. Look at that. Very interesting. So, why is that happening? This is, this is exactly how it behaved when it was in the light fixture. Right here is the failure mode that I was seeing. It was just flickering. And then it just stopped. Like that. There we go. It's a pretty reliable uh, failure mode right there. What I think it is is it could be a bad solder joint inside of here. So, let me unplug this again. Let's unscrew it now. Now here's the next part of what's going on in here, folks. If you look very closely, you can see that there is a little circuit board inside of there. Okay, so I just revisited the Dremel and I cut right here so I can get closer to that uh, that circuit board that I wanted to see. So let's take a look closely right here. So the way this is working is you have two lines really. So you've got one on the left and one on the right and uh, they kind of split right here on these two and then they, these two go up and then these four up here they're actually all connected. So really you've got uh, two strips running in parallel with uh, another two strips basically and then they terminate at the bottom but what's kind of interesting is at the very bottom you can see in there it's like a it's like a twisty tie on your loaf of bread it's just twisted onto there it's not soldered or anything literally just twisted so I think that if I just pull right here and just kinda of work it away they should separate, so I'm going to do that. And as I do that, you know, I see they're twisted on there pretty good, and they're not really wanting to uh, give, so... Oh, there we are. They gave. I wonder if I create a reliable connection between these things 
we can get this thing to actually work as it should. Okay, so what I've done here is I've soldered wires to the circuit board where these old filaments used to attach, but those broke because, you know, they're very flimsy. And now I've got my jumpers running from those uh, solder points to, you know, the bottom of here and here. So maybe this will actually work. I don't know, but I'll tell you what, if when I plug this in, this actually uh, lights up then I think I know what the issue was but you know I might cause an explosion instead I don't know but you know we're, we're about to find out because this is fun okay I'm gonna plug it in let's see what happens yeah so so yeah there it is I think I figured out why this light bulb failed it was a bad connection at the base there between those two twisty tied uh, connections so that's really interesting you know this is uh, pretty clear to me that uh, you know I can jiggle these around nothing is uh, changing so there uh, I guess I fixed the light bulb um, can't really put it back together <laughs> but uh, there it is so, you know I thought this might be kind of fun to just take apart this light bulb and figure out you know why did it fail? Why was it failing? I had a really good feeling that, uh, you know, these LEDs right here had not actually failed because, you know, LEDs are supposed to last a long time. I especially wanted to make this video because I just read something recently saying that new energy standards in the United States are going to make incandescent bulbs obsolete. They're not efficient enough to meet the new standards for uh, light bulbs. As you know, I'm all for increased efficiency and less energy usage and switching to LED over a uh, power hungry incandescent, but like if this is going to happen to these bulbs, it's not okay. You know, you're going to end up going to the store and buy more. And by the way, these are way more expensive than an incandescent. You're going to be buying more of these if they keep putting them together this way. And you know, the environmental impact to make an LED bulb is higher than that of an incandescent bulb because it's so simple. This, you've got plastics inside, you've got a circuit board, you've got all this stuff. If you're going through these faster than incandescents, are you really helping the environment? Are you really producing our carbon footprint? You know, it's just uh, something to consider. So, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I enjoyed taking this apart. I hope you enjoyed watching me do it. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.